wait till I get tired and my eyes fill up with doubt. Singing all different types of stories until all the hearts they give up. Yeah, it might have been as easy now it wasn't then. Truth be told, we never cared anyhow. Let's not wait till I get older and my hair turns white. So a couple songs there from the Dust Collectors live here in the studios at CGSW Radio 90.9 FM, www.cgsw.com is where you go if you want to listen to this show again. And who really wouldn't want to listen to the Dust Collectors all day long and over and over again? So, um, well, why don't we uh, start by uh, talking about you guys. How did you all come together? Like, how did the band get get happening? Uh, what year would that have been? It would have been about 2019. Oh, no, 2018. I, we, got, we all lived on the same street. We've been playing together for years um, in various different projects. And we had some garage jams that we were attending. And when you attend garage jams long enough, thing, things start to coalesce. And uh, I realized that we had some the beginnings of some songs, or at least something that I wanted to pursue in a, in a band-type scenario. So I asked uh, Steve and Scott and Luke, who are all very close um, in proximity, as well as friends, and uh, they were interested in starting up a project. And it was uh, we just kind of wanted to see if it would sound good. We didn't even know if it would work, but it was a ton of fun, and we just we've been doing it ever since. And since we brought on some some more friends that are also close friends in in my heart and in proximity to where I live, so it's a really convenient band to be in. <laughs> Yeah, well, it, it sounds great. Makes it easy to get together for beers and practice. I gather yeah. um, most most practices for most bands that I've heard of, it's, it's they're heavily lubricated. Shall we? Is is that? Uh, well, that was a problem at the beginning. I think we were a little too lubricated, so we had to once we started getting shows that people were going to show up at, we we had to kind of tone down the lubrication and and get to work <laughs> and, and take things seriously. Yeah, yeah, a little bit more. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, well, how did that? Like I mean, how did that work? I gather there's like four songwriters here in this band, or yeah, yeah, yeah. It started off, we would just come with an idea, jam it out, and figure it out. Um, lyrically, Matt and I would usually start the songs, and then what we perceived to be a completed song, the others would disagree and give us notes on some of our lyrics or uh, the turnaround in the song mm -hmm. where maybe it should be. And once you add the bass and drums, the songs started to feel uh, feel a little bit more together and, and a little bit more complete but it, it would take I, I think Matt and I would get them 50 to 60 percent of the way there and then the four of us together would would f complete the uh, the project mm -hmm. so um, I, I 
gather from your, well, pick up from your accent that you're from Ireland. And I read that somebody, that, that there was an Irish member in the band and that it, you were kind of responsible for their t- traditional sound. Is that is that? Yeah, yeah. Our first song that we played today, uh, Take a Dive, it, it's the story was based off of... Uh, there, there's a history of maybe like a hundred years ago Irish people immigrating to America looking for a better life but ending up in these either trades or just getting wrapped up with the wrong people and, and that story was about a, a boxer in New York uh, gets caught up in fixing fights and kind of the, the feel of the story kind of felt Celtic to me so I wanted to, to write a song that felt a little bit Celtic around it too um, and then we have a few other songs I, I play mandolin on a few other songs who we they, they kind of like gravitate towards uh, a more traditional style as well yeah i i know some some murder ballads on on your your yeah. album yeah Is yeah it? funnily enough matt wrote the the predominant murder ballad but we have a weird underlying theme of death in about four or five of our songs on our album not not on purpose but uh but there you go mm-hmm. so okay well um i don't know maybe that's uh where we should go with that uh what have you guys been up to lately? I, I gather it's been a busy year for you, sort of thing. I mean, you know, aside from this album, this EP. Yeah, we released our first EP at the beginning of the year. Um, essentially what we did was our, we broke our album down to two halves, a folkier half and a rockier half. And we released them as two separate EPs um, in February and April. And then in May, we released the full 14 track record on vinyl and, and put it out into all the different streaming services. So we've been promoting that a little bit. We've played a few festivals um, and we've had uh, some breaks where we had a couple of weeks off where we did some songwriting too but it's been super fun to promote something none of us had worked in a project before where we had released an actual album so doing radio interviews writing for uh, blogs online interviews that kind of thing we, we, we've been getting to uh, be a little bit differently creative with those projects so that's been fun too and then we have um, just to close out I guess our summer shows we have the um, it's called Grand Trunk Festival this weekend yeah, now that sounds like a really interesting event. You, uh, who, who are you performing with there? Do you know? Um, I forget. We're playing with the we're Calgary Midnight Jazz Society, yeah. which uh, I believe is a 40 or 50 person uh, big band. Uh, they are opening, and then our seemingly small band by comparison. Uh, and then the Mocking Shadows are uh, obviously a bit of a Calgary institution, and they are headlining the well, there, there, Festival. Sorry, there's also going to be bands in the day, too, I, and I, I, I've, oh. I've yet to check that roster, but I think there's bands um, that for the free part of the show that go until 5 or 6, and I think there's a paid event after 6. Oh, okay, well, I'll, yeah, no, all I managed to find was that there was an evening thing, so it's, so, it's, so it's a whole day, and that's at the West Hillhurst Community Center, I guess. Yeah, it's, it's, that, um, it's that community's uh, 75th anniversary of having an actual community um, and having these events, so it's a big celebration. They're doing a two- or three-day-long celebration, um, music being the predominant kind of feature on the Saturday, uh, but, but all weekend they have events on there. Okay, so that sounds, yeah, sounds, sounds like a whole wonderful weekend. And uh, yeah, how are you? How, how do you guys feel about uh, f- trying to fit in between a couple of jazz, jazz bands? You got any any uh, minor chords or diminished sevenths in your? <laughs> we we do have a few songs that we we our version of getting a little jazzy. They, they go there. Uh, we'll play. We'll definitely play those Saturday night too. But they're slightly uh, rockier, or a little edgier for, than uh, what we've chosen to play here today at the show but yeah we're we're hoping that uh especially with mocking shadows that they're in the wings watching and they're impressed by our couple of songs that have a diminutive seventh yeah 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 well may- maybe you can all get together and have a jam at the end you know wild mountain time or <laughs> yeah. waters wide or something or or anyway yeah yeah, yeah we're looking forward to it and and we actually saw mocking shadows they played at the Wayne Stock Festival in Wayne uh, just two weekends ago. Uh, they played maybe two or three bands after us, so we were lucky enough to be able to sit down and watch them, but they're yeah. an extremely talented band. Yeah, totally, and Wayne Stock is always a good time. I've always been, a I good time. I haven't been out there a while, but yeah. But yeah. yeah Super fun. Around. All right, well, um, so what are your plans for the future? I mean, you've got your show this weekend. Anything in the future? Like any 
other shows yeah uh, we do have a couple of shows we haven't announced yet but they're in November we actually we're going to take September October to actually work on some new material um, with the hopes that by the end of the year we're ready to go back into the studio and record a few songs on, yeah, yeah. Uh, funnily enough our album we started it in the p- pandemic so some of these songs are quite old to us and we've been writing new material for the past six or nine months as we've been releasing these songs we've been writing new material so we're a little ahead of schedule and we've got plenty of songs to work on well that sounds that sounds great um let's see we've got that yeah uh where where can we find your recordings like if we wanted to go out and buy them um, yeah uh, the vinyl is available online to purchase uh, via Bandcamp, via our website, and we we actually work through a small record label called Neon Moon Records. So that's the physical vinyl. We also sell it at our live shows. So uh, this Saturday, for example, if you wanted to come down and buy a vinyl, we'll bring some with us. Um, and then the songs themselves were on all the major streaming platforms, um, Spotify, Apple Music, Amazon, everything. It's it's on every major streaming platform. So, so people want to go out and look for the dust collectors they'll be easy we're to, easy to, to find, find. Yeah. I, I, I had to uh, for a separate purpose yesterday I had to google the phrase the dust collectors and we're the number one search now so no excuses you can find us easily <laughs> it uh, used to be uh, when you'd search the dust collectors it would just be a series of vacuum cleaners and <laughs> industrial well, dust collection <laughs> systems <laughs> actually yeah you have to you have to put Calgary at the end of that or there music somewhere in it because I yeah, the first time I tried to Google you guys, that's exactly what I got was, was yeah. vacuum systems and exactly. so on. We are looking to branch out into uh, <laughs> industrial dust collection sales also. So if anyone's well, thinking that's, uh, that's a one, future, future one project, to be a new album and a uh, dust collection empire. Well, I'm going to be totally shameless and say you guys don't suck. So uh. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, I guess on that note, can we have a couple, a few more songs from you? Well, now we just said we're not going to suck. We better uh, <laughs> yeah. try and live up to that. No pressure. Yeah, this one's that song called Murder Ballad. Left here, she planned to run away. Now I pray she comes back someday. Holes were dug in the earth, fill up. Everything goes quiet. I'll do my best to tell it true. It's a concept that she never knew. When she lies six feet down Lying in the cocoa ground Clothes on the line now Scattered in the wind Lights left on by the door Hands still shaking I'm trembling low She can't hear me crying anymore I'll wait here, got my sense to run I got dirty hands, I got a rusty gun When lawmen find me, here I'll be Prison's all that's left for me Scratch my name off the hollow tree I'm taking back what belongs to me Smoke from the fire, it'll burn my eyes Everything goes quiet Clothes on the line now Scattered in the wind Lights left on by the door Hands still shaking, I'm trembling She 
left here, she planned to run away. Now she's back and she's here to stay. Right after I built that house, it said right to my face, the only way I'll die is by the fire steady pace. How do you know I said get a feel your right to go? Only way to tell is with some time in point of 